Hello everyone, and welcome to this forecast update on possible Tropical Storm Alex. On this video, we are going to review some information on the potential for tropical activity, and the impacts that may result. Let's begin by looking at the current information on this disturbance. A large and complex area of low pressure is expected to develop near the Yucatan Peninsula and the northwestern Caribbean Sea in a couple of days, partially related to the remnants of Agatha from the eastern Pacific. Despite strong upper-level winds over the area, this system is likely to become a tropical depression while it moves northeastward over the northwestern Caribbean Sea and southeastern Gulf of Mexico late Thursday or Friday. Regardless of development, locally heavy rainfall is likely across portions of southeastern Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula, Guatemala, and Belize during the next couple of days, spreading across western Cuba, southern Florida, and the Florida Keys on Friday and Saturday. Interests in the Yucatan Peninsula, western Cuba, the Florida Keys and the Florida Peninsula should monitor the progress of this system. Formation chance through the next 48 hours, low, 30%. Formation chance through the next 5 days, high, 70%. Let's look at the timing of this tropical disturbance, according to the European model. This system is not likely to develop for at least the next couple of days, but once the storm system moves into the Gulf of Mexico by Thursday and Friday, the chances will be increasing. And then, by Saturday, Florida may be looking at a potential landfall from a tropical depression or even storm. But like we saw earlier, regardless of this becoming a named tropical system, very heavy rainfall is becoming increasingly likely for the Florida Peninsula. Here are the potential rainfall accumulations according to the European model. As you can see, widespread heavy rainfall is possible, potentially amounting to 3 to 5 inches of rain accumulation in that yellow shade, with isolated higher amounts up to 6 or 7 inches. And that concludes that quick update. If you enjoyed this forecast be sure to subscribe for further updates in the coming days, because there is still much to figure out about this storm.